Hi there guys, Comrade here with iSkySoft PDF Editor Pro for Macintosh and today we're going to give you the straight up lowdown on how to fill out and create PDF forms. So first what I'm going to do is open my sample form here and what a beautiful form it is. Next I'm going to do, okay so as we can see the document contains interactive form fields, we could select to highlight those fields but today what I'm going to do is just show you how to edit them. The first and most simple way, of course, is to just click on the box and type in whatever you want. So I'm just going to type in PDFs because that's pretty much what I'm into. So PDF, PDFE, the receiver of the PDF. And I can type in as many different things as I want to right here. So there's another way that we can do this as well, and that would be by going to Form and then Edit Form. That's going to give me the tooltip overlay for all the different um, form fields that I have there. And I can edit them as I see fit. As you can see, there's a number of different types of fields that you can create with iSkySoft PDF Editor Pro for Macintosh. And I'm going to show you how to do some of those. Next thing you can do, I'm going to not save any of the changes there. Go to File, New, Blank Document. I'm going to save that as iSkySoft PDF form. Now, as you can see, I have a beautiful crisp white canvas here. I'm going to click Form, Edit Form, uh, cancel the dialog box, and then all I need to do from there is click on what I want to create, in this case a text field, and if I right click or control click on that or double click it, I can uh, change the text field property. So I can change the name, in this case just name, and I can give a tooltip here, just name, or what's your name? There we go. And there's a crazy amount of options here that I could use. I could change the border color, the fill color, the font size, and let's see what else. Options, the alignment, the default values, so that's the, uh, the text that will be pre-inserted into the text box. And I can change my actions there, so I can make it a very dynamic form. So when you put your mouse over it, it opens a link, or opens a file, and puts form data, goes to a different page, submits, resets, runs a script, or shows or hides a field. In this case, I don't really need any actions. Uh, here we've got some data validation settings. When I specify a form in the format, um, we can change that and then add in different data validation options. So very, very comprehensive there what you can do. Let me just add in a checkbox next to this and click on that. Name, uh, what should we call this one? Hmm. Well, it essentially doesn't matter right now, as we're just showing you how to create a sample form. As you can see, there's a large number of options, again, for you to customize your form as you see fit, as, as is required for you to do. I'm just going to take a radio button in there, and you can see we can create a list box, a drop-down, and a button. Of course, the most useful uh, button would normally be to submit the form. Um, the data of which will be uh, exported with the submit. So let's close that and let me just go back to the sample form so you can see a completed form once more in all of its glory. Open recent iSkySoft sample form.pdf, my commercial invoice here. And as you can see, we can check our radio boxes. We can fill out our forms, we can check those yes or no, and we can input a digital signature there too. Uh, and that's pretty much all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Cormac Hughes for iSkySoft PDF Editor for Macintosh, and I will speak to you next time. Thanks again. Why are you